everyone let's jump to the uh, demonstration part right where we will understand about the sorting technique so we have till now studied what is data skewness right what are the different causes of the data skewness like group by skew data distribution in adequate partitioning strategy and join operation then we have also understand if we have a data skewness in our spark code what can be the different disadvantages or drawbacks that we can have right then uh, let's go to the demo part so for this demonstration are uh, disabling our adaptive uh, query execution right because we are running our code on the la latest spark version so that's why we have specifically disabling it so that we can see sorting in action right similarly uh, we are doing the shuffle partition number and give it in, giving it a value as 3 so uh, by default the shuffle partitions are 200 in number but for our demonstration we are not dealing with that much huge number of size so that's why we we are reducing and picking up a number as 3 to uh, show our demonstration so again then we are importing some functions from PySpark like integer type to give a column as an integer data type and then we are importing some other functions like spark partition id explode random array literal and column we are going to study like all these functions usage right so we are first creating a spark data frame right so we are giving it a list right uh, for i in range this many number of values just create a data frame assign it a integer data type right and on top of that we are creating another column that is partition id so here we are using spark partition id right so this is a function which will help us to tell me like which particular row is lying in which particular partition so say if i have 10 rows right and i have total two number of partition using this function i can see the distribution of my data so which particular partition contains how many number of rows right and similarly if i wanted to do the group by like uh, just to see an aggregated way which particular partition contain how many number of rows to see the distribution of my data across different partition i can do this group by operation and uh, say i am applying on top of this column partition id uh, doing a count operation and finally doing the sorting right and let me see how our dist data distribution look like so you can see uh, your data set is more or less evenly distributed across my different partitions right so in this example we have eight partition and you can see even distribution of my data set right so now let's try to do the self join with this even distribution of the data so i have this even even that two different data frame and i am doing this inner join between the uh, df evenly df evenly and based on the value column so this is just to show you this is not related to sorting but just to show you how to spark we can navigate across different operations different job stages and tasks and if we don't have any skewness in our data set how my uh, spark ui looks like so this is to demonstrate that so this is how it is running on the database notebook it is running some spark job and you can quickly navigate to the spark ui through this uh, job tab and you can see the view link and you can simply click on this and it will navigate to you the actual spark ui which is uh, corresponding to your job execution so you see here we are simply reading the data set here right and again because we are doing the self join so same data set is used as an input for my join operation so this data set has been read and these are simply doing the sort my join right in order to perform my join operation so it is simply doing the sort operation and then doing some exchanges and creating the final output and in because we have the shuffle partition as 3 so let us see how the spark ui looks like for this join operation so here you see this is how you can see the time which is taken by your task right so these are my three individual tasks and this is on the summary matrix i can see like how much time my spark execution has taken place right so you can see that more or less your task has almost taken the same amount of time right and even in the summary tab you can see that this has taken around minimum one one or two or two seconds of time right so this is how you can see your actual uh, task execution your spark plan and also you can see the same thing from the uh, sql plan right so you can click on this right and it will show you the sql query plan uh, that is happening so you scan your existing rdd right and it has read this many number of rows and then it has done the exchanges to do the sorting initially and then it performed the sort merge join and it has done the local aggregation and finally again does some aggregation and then finally it has done the partial counts from all different partition and then the global aggregations so this is how you can read out your spark execution plan right so let us quickly go our to our notebook and see uh, in case of students how it looks like 
So in order to create a skewed data frame, right? So we have created this three df0, df1, df2. So we have created a single value zero, and we are saying that uh, repeat this value this many number of times, applying this integer type and repartitioning it to a single partition. So just in case there are multiple partition containing this particular value, I am just limiting it to a single partition so that I can uh, demonstrate the use case of the data skewness in our data set. Similarly, we are creating two different other data frames for value one repeating only one time, similarly for two repeating only one time. And then we are saying a union operation combining all these three data set to create a single skewed data frame, right? And just to again see the distribution of the data, we are again using the same Spark partition ID column, right? And doing the group by operation just to see my distribution of the data in case of the skewness, right? So this is running, right? And let us see how it's uh, distributed. So if you see, uh, this particular partition ID 0 contains this many number of rows, whereas other two contains only single single row. So this you can easily see from the distribution that yes, you have the skewness in case of your data set. Now let's try to see uh, the join between these two different data frame, one is even, one is uneven, without using the sorting technique and see how the, how it will look at the Spark UI and how you would be able to understand the same through the Spark UI. So we are just repartitioning it before applying the join, right? We are simply doing a repartition. So repartition can be another strategy which we can use to distribute my data, but it sometimes in, it cannot result into the even distribution, right? Because uh, there can be possibility that after doing the join or some other group by operation, because there is a key based, uh, because the key on which I'm joining is skewed, right? It can still result into my skewness issue. So let's try to run this and see how it looks on the Spark UI. So we are simply doing a join between my even and uneven distributed data frames. And again, for specifying value as a column and doing an inner join. So let us see on the Spark UI how it looks like. So we have loaded it for the job 12 and on a high level how it looks like. So you have this stage created, right? So where we are reading three different DF0, DF1, DF2. Then we are also reading the even distributed data set, right? And then first we are doing the union operation and then we are uh, reading this as a whole and the even distributed as a one single data frame, applying the sorting and finally doing the aggregated operation, right? And then uh, let us see on the task tab, right? So let's see this tab, um, the task, like how it runs. So if you see here, this is 0 0.2 milliseconds and uh, 0 0.2 seconds. This is 0 0.4 seconds and similarly, this is 0 0.8 seconds. So this has taken very less amount of time. This has again taken more or less the same amount of time, but this single task has taken a very much amount of time compared to the other, right? This would be more evident in case we have a large data set, more skewed distribution and uh, more number of tasks, right? So it would be more evident here, but still you can see from here as well as from the summary matrix that some tasks are executing much faster, whereas other tasks are taking a lot amount of time, right? And similarly, if you want to see on the SQL data frame tab, right, uh, how it looks like. So let us go to the SQL data frame and see. It should more or less see the same picture. So you are scanning this, right? And you are reading this particular data frame. So this has taken 9.1 second of time, right? Whereas other has taken only a milliseconds amount of time. So now you are doing the exchanges. So you can study more around like what is the data volume? How many blocks have been read? What are the total number of records that have been read, right? And what are the shuffle write time? So you can read all those metrics here, right? Finally, we are unioning this data frame and then doing the exchange operation. Similarly, this is the exchange operation for my single data frame. So more or less, you see the data volume, right? Because we have number of rows. And then the time, if you see here, this has taken 2 milliseconds of time and this has taken 284 milliseconds of time. This again depends upon how your data set has been read, right? Now you are doing the sort operation, then you are doing sort merge join, and finally you are doing the hash aggregation on your local, and then is a global uh, aggreg uh, aggregation that you are getting here, right? how you can navigate through the spark ui right and even if you want to see the detailed tab right you can read it from here like how internally spark has executed your code so we have studied like in case of skewed data frame how the join look like now let's try to understand the sorting technique right so let me for now just comment this out the show operation so what we are trying to do so this is my skewed data and we wanted to add another column and we wanted to apply some randomness factor 
so we have applying the same randomness factor at the shuffle partition for our demonstration so this sorting factor is again a very important key which you should choose i uh, wisely uh, depending upon your workload your resource allocation right so for our demonstration we are choosing this as the same value as our shuffle number of partitions and let us run it right so how it will run uh, we will see that so it will apply like if i have a key as 1 it will do 1 1 somehow it will do 1 2 1 3 so depending upon uh, factor it will apply a random number to my key, actual key and this is my even distributed data right and i'm creating another column here and creating an array column right 1 comma 2 comma 3 and then finally exploding it so if i have four number of rows and sorting factor is 3 so it will now result into 12 rows right so let me also run that uh, to show so we have run this and now my final step to create the join where i'm doing df left and joining the df right so previously my joining key was value but now it has become value and sort values right and i am doing the inner join and let us see how after distributing after applying this uh, sorting technique and then doing the join operation how my data distribution looks like so we are again doing the same thing spark partition id creating a column and doing the group by operation so if you see here uh, for a single key zero previously we have only a single partition but now we have two partition and we have more or less the even distribution distribution data so even again you wanted to more uh, distributed right you can apply the sorting factors five or six so that again you can choose according to your requirement so let us see on the spark ui how that looks like after applying the sorting right so you see the job uh, looks like the same you have three different data frames that has been read then you are doing the union operation then you are again uh, doing some exchanges you are reading your df even data set right and then you are applying the sorting and doing the sort merge on, right and so on the sql data frame if i show you how that looks like so you see here this is again uh, the same you are reading three different data frames doing the union and then doing the exchanges right and here comes the part of sorting where you have applied some new column right so there it comes into the project where you are applying some random factor and creating a sort value right whereas in case of my df even right where you are applying the sorting value so previously i was only having one lakh row but after applying my explore function and doing i am increasing the volume as three lakh now because i am create adding new column uh, right sort value here so previously it was one lakh now it has three lakh now and you see the data volume has also been increased now in order to do the join here right so now it is again the same thing where we are doing the sorting technique sort merge join and then doing the local aggregation and then doing the final aggregation and giving us the result now let's see the tab where uh, we can easily see how this looks like on the task ui right so let us go to our um, how many tasks it has run so let us try this so this has run three because we have shuffled partition at three so three different tasks should have run right so if you see now the distribution of your data set and the task execution time so you have more or less two seconds two seconds and two seconds so you have more or less the same distribution right same amount of time it is completing so you even if you see on this even timeline this is taking all more or less the same amount of time in order to execute so you see how sorting technique has helped us in order to deal with this data skewness right so that's all about sorting and uh, we have seen like how in the spark ui we can go to the different tab and utilize and understand more around how, how our spark code is executing so that's all for today's video and also if you see uh, right if you want to see uh, that how your data looks like uh, after applying the sort value so let us also cover that so i have just used the show action and you can see that previously i have only this value column but now i have this sort value 0 1 right 0 1 somehow 2 so it is applying some randomness key to my actual value column which will give my value comma sort value as my uh, new key in order to do the join operation similarly if i show you how my df right data frame look like after applying this randomness sort value so first we are creating some column uh, 0 1 2 and then we are applying this sorting value using the explode you see the single 0 has been exploded to 0 1 2 0 1 2 right so this is how uh, my data frame looks like after creating these two columns right so that's all for today's videos i hope you like the content and you understand the sorting techniques 
right and if you have any questions you tell let us know in the comment section we are happy to take that up any topic that you want just let us know thank you so much for watching bye